And Danny, hello. Uh, nice to meet you. Um, since we last spoke to you, um, Joe Rothwell and Hamid Troy have gone out on loan. Can you just explain your, your thinking about those moves? Yeah, I think uh, there are moves that are, are good for, for every part, I think, starting from the players. I think they are two players that uh, probably they, for sure, they wanted to to have more minutes. They've found very good uh, alternatives, very good uh, chances for them. And I think we wish them all the best. And uh, I hope both of them uh, have the, the chances, take the opportunities and... Uh, they are. I think they are both both ready. Yeah. Do you think they still have futures at Bournemouth? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Uh, at the end, they are good players. They've already shown it in in in, in different places. And I think it's always a strong competition to be part of the team, especially last month. I think where the team has been performing uh, quite well, and it's been tough for them to have the the minutes they wanted. But I think uh, there is no doubt that uh, they are both very good players. Um, and it begs the question, will others be going uh, this month? Um, Lloyd Kelly, can you talk about him and a possible move this month? Yeah, we have uh, uh, no, no news about this, but as I always say, the market is open and you don't know what's going to happen no? uh, until, until it, it closes. For coaches, I, I always tell you, no, it's not comfortable uh, days I don't like these these days until the market is is closed. But we have to accept that uh, uh, we will be related with some names. Uh, some other teams will want some of our players, and in every club will be the same. Is there a position you, you really need to strengthen yourself this month? It will depend a lot in the departures we have. I think uh, right now uh, uh, we are now without uh, Joe, without uh, Junior. So probably, and it will depend also in, in, in how uh, Tyler Adams uh, recovers and probably uh, there we, we will need someone there in the, in the, in the middle. No? And, and from there, starting from there, mm -hmm. uh, it will depend on the, on the departures. Sure. Just on Sunday then, um, is Lloyd Kelly actually fit to play and also Milos, is he OK? Yeah, uh, I will tell you everything. Or the, the most I, I have all together. I think we have out, especially comparing to the QPR game. Adam Smith is still out. He will not be part of the team. Uh, Milos Kerketh is out also. Uh, Ryan Fredericks and, and Tyler that are uh, more long-term injuries. I think, uh, obviously, Dango and Ant with the national teams. Marcos is, is suspended. And Lloyd Kelly is the only one that I leave it open. I'm not. 100% sure, but it's the only one that can have a chance to be involved, uh, at least in the squad. And uh, no Senesi, I mean, how big a task is this going to be to face the leaders without him? Yeah, we are thin right now, we are thin because we have, with all these uh, sanctions, the players in Africa, the market is still open, we have, we've we lost a couple uh, the injured players and now we are thin, especially in some positions, uh, but it's true that we also added James Hill, that will be a good good help, especially in these defensive positions where we've been having less less players no, lately. Um, and only Liverpool uh, have been here already and won in the Carabao Cup and they beat you very early, early in the season, but it's true to say, isn't it, you're a completely different team now to the team uh, you know you faced Liverpool in, in early in the season. Yeah, I, I'm quite happy with the two games we played against Liverpool, especially with the second one, the one we played here in the Carabao Cup, but even then, we were not even able to even tie a game. No, I think we have to be at our best because probably they are now the team. They are top of the league. They are most informed team in the in the Premier League. They've lost one game in all the Premier League season, and it was when they finished with nine players. So if we want to beat them. It's not just enough to be at our level. No, we have to do something really, really good. We have to be at our best. We have to be clinical up front. We don't have to make mistakes. And it uh, takes a lot to win these kind of teams. Yeah. Bournemouth have only beaten Liverpool twice in, in 13 Premier League matches. Can you make it three on Sunday? We have to be really good to make it three. We have to be really good. I think we have the experiences, as you said. We've faced them two times this season. 
we've been quite good and even then we were we haven't been able to to take anything from them so uh, we have to give ourselves chances to score to try to limit them it's not going to be easy because they have elite level players but i think if it we are playing like we did uh, during november december i think we have a chance thank you good luck Hi Andoni, nice to meet you. Um, do you think this break came at the right time? Uh, obviously you had quite good momentum. How, how do you keep that going? Yeah, it's, it's difficult to answer because it's true that we need it probably physically, no? Some, also mentally, no? probably uh, some, some days off or at least some rest. But it's true that the team was playing well and we were in a good moment, we were having good results and now we have to use this little break okay we we charge our our energies we are probably a little bit fresher but everyone else will be the same yeah um liverpool are in great form and you might be seen as the underdog but bournemouth it must be said have been brilliant recently do you think you come into this game maybe less frightened than maybe you would have been at the start of the season um it's normal, we are underdogs, you know, we are facing the, 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 the top team and their, their stats are amazing. You look everywhere, it's better not to look a lot because you, after you have to face them, no? Because they are very good offensively, defensively, uh, everywhere. But I think we've shown this season, no? That if we have our day, if we, if we don't make mistakes, we are focused, we, we do a lot of good things, we can have a chance. Uh, we don't have anything guaranteed. But we know that if we want to have any chance, we have to be really good. You beat a lot of, well, you got good results against teams that are around you. Yeah. Would that be the next step for Bournemouth to beat the bigger teams, to build that confidence against those type of sides? Yes, I think uh, it's always difficult, no? Because uh, even in the games that they are not at their best, these kind of teams, they find a way, you know, if you think, OK, we have them in the cup game, we tied, we, the momentum was for us, and then Darwin arrives, boom, top corner, and they win the game, no? And uh, we have to, especially to be very good in the boxes, because uh, they don't concede a lot, so the chances we have, we have to make them pay every mistake they, they do. And finally, Jorgen Klopp spoke earlier today, and he said he admires what you've done, and that how you turn the situation around is proper coaching. Is it quite flattering for you coming from Jorgen Klopp? No, oh, I appreciate. I appreciate the the, the words. No, uh, I think it's, it's it's good to hear, especially considering who who says no uh, these things. But okay, what can I say about Jorgen? No, it's, it's, you know, he's uh, top level. They are doing really really well this season. They they have been the same kind of team you imagine when you face Liverpool, top pressing team, you cannot rest against them, very good in, in transitions, very good also in in organised attacks, different options, they use different structures, players inside, outside, uh, there is a lot of things to prepare when you face them and I hope we are ready, I hope we are ready. Thank you very much. Thank you. Antonio, I'd just like to ask you about the uh, youth team this week, one of the greatest results in the history of the under-18s, winning 5-0 away at Newcastle in the FA Youth Cup and Spurs to come in the next round. Just tell us about that. Yeah, it's amazing. No, It's amazing to go, for sure, with their age, no? to go to this kind of a stadium. No? St James's Park is a really nice stadium to play and and have a performance and a result like like uh, they had. No, I'm sure they will never forget this game, uh, they had a stat, they scored a hat trick, you know, this is forever. They don't, okay, I've scored one hat trick in St. James's Park, no? Now they have another very tough, I suppose, very tough game against the Spurs, but it's good experience for them in, in their process to, to continue learning and continue improving. And I think it's good news overall for the, for the club also.